I definitely have had a breakdown about this and I kind of wanted to just talk it through. So enjoy as you watch me sew a little baby dress for my niece, Perry. I'm really excited to sew this. I It was such a fun project to do and I just love sewing baby clothes. And I found this fabric and I knew it had to be for her. It was so cute. Ever since I turned 27, and specifically right veering towards the end of 27, everyone is pregnant now. I see at least two new pregnancy announcements every day from either people I follow, people who I'm friends with, people who I've, you know, know on YouTube. Everyone's pregnant and it has been really, really hard on me. Ever since my sister gave birth to my niece, Perry, I, it was like a, a switch went off and I was like, I am behind. I am very behind. I need to fix this. <laughs> like, what am I doing? Like, I'm I'm just so behind. And I think it's obviously been made worse by seeing all of the pregnancies and babies <laughs> on social media. But I also know that just in your 20s, it, it's just it's a weird place because I have friends who are still single. I have friends who are, you know, have been married for a while. Friends who already have like three kids, basically. There's not a lot of comfort when you look around, like not even just on social media, but you just look at the people in your circle and you're like, okay, what am I supposed to be doing? Like, you know, it's just hard to tell. And anyways, I broke down a couple days ago. It was last week, actually. I felt like, I had done everything wrong in my life. I like I didn't have control over the timing and I couldn't do anything about it and it felt like I had missed the boat. I was too late. I was, you know, I was doing everything wrong basically. It was hard. Like I I feel like re-talking about it doesn't really like do the feelings justice because it's just like this helpless feeling. And I think there's another element that maybe I'll talk about in the future but at least for AJ and I, there are just like things behind the scenes in our life that like, you know, for a multitude of reasons, we just cannot have kids or haven't been able to have kids yet. Um, and it's just been really frustrating, honestly. Um, and I, it's, I think it just got to this point of waiting. You know, we've been married for over two years now and it's kind of like, okay, like, when can I have like some control over this? When can I, when can we actually like pull the trigger on this, you know? And, you know, we're not in a rush, but I mean, I kind of have always, I, I think that's a hard thing. It's like the timeline in my mind is so different than the one that's actually happening. And that's really frustrating because you live your whole life like growing up thinking, you know what the person you're, you're gonna marry will be like, where you're gonna live and what life will look like and how, you know, old you're gonna be when you have kids and stuff. And and I just had this idea, you know, that I would ha be younger when I have kids and um, that it would have happened already. And I think it's honestly, no matter what it is in your 20s, just grieving the idea that life doesn't look like what you thought it would be. And you're constantly surrounded by people who are living the life you thought you would live. <laughs> um, and, yeah, I think that's really it. Like, and I think it's hard because the thing is, is that I'm grateful for it. Is that I'm not like jealous of my sister, but I think once it was my sister, I think it really just puts it in a different light, I guess. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm happy for all the babies you've born. I'm happy for your pregnancy. I, you know, it's fine. I just it's it is really hard when I I'm looking at what I thought. I would be experiencing at this age and I'm not. The thing that's been helping me is that I, I was standing in the kitchen and I kind of stopped for a second and I was like, cause it was kind of going down one of those spirals. I was like, oh my gosh, blah, blah, blah. and I'm like, wait, I had a moment of clarity, which like doesn't always happen when I'm in my emotions, but, and I was like, okay, let's block everyone else out of the equation. Let's pr pretend that no one else exists and it's just AJ and I. And when I was thinking about it, in our life, factoring in everything. And I was like, actually, it's good that we haven't been pregnant yet, we don't have a kid yet, and that we are where we are. I think this is actually what's best for us. And the waiting is good. Like, I, I actually feel at peace about where we're at with it. You know, I, I think it's a good idea. I think, I think we're on the right track and I think it 
make sense for us. And so that felt good to come to that realization. And later on, I, I told AJ about it and he was like, yeah, like, and also by the way, he has way less like stress about this than me. Like, I feel like he, he is very go with the flow. So that's been good. He was like, yeah, like think about like we, like he was just basically like going back in the past and like listing off the timeline of like our whole relationship and what we went through and who we are as people even because I am very different than my sister and very different than, you know, some of my friends who have kids already. And I'm, you know, I met AJ, oh, how old was I? 24. And we got married at 25. Like I didn't even get married till 25, you know, and some of my friends got married when they were younger or, you know, they started life like they just knew their person. And I've only known AJ for three years. <laughs> like, I've, like, isn't that weird? Like I've only known of him for a little over, coming on four years, but like three years. Just like when I think about us moving across the country and saving money, there's so many things that we had to go through and our timeline, our life just looks different than everybody else's. And, and that's fine, you know? And, and when we were looking through, you know, our past and, and what we've been through and what we had to learn and grow through, it was just like realizing that God always had everything planned out just right. The, the timing that I met AJ was perfect. That when we got married was, when we moved up, God has consistently nailed the timing of our life. And I just, at this point in my life, need to trust him that he is going to also know when the best time is for us to have kids, for it to be our turn. And I just want to encourage you, like if you're waiting for your husband, if you're waiting, you know, to finally get married or, you know, to be engaged or to buy a house or whatever, like all those big life moments that you're seeing other people go through, look back in the past of your life and, and look how far God has brought you and how how beautifully he's timed out your life because I'm sure you can find stages of your life that it's like, wow, like I didn't know then, but I'm so glad I did this or I'm so glad I waited for that. It helps you be able to trust the, the author of your story and it helps you have a little bit of peace in the waiting and know that you can be content while everyone else around you, you know, is getting what you want. And, it, and I feel like I'm starting to slowly get to the point where it really just doesn't affect me. And I know that our time will be eventually and I can just kind of even enjoy the stage that AJ and I are at right now. That has started to come into my mind, um, which has taken a lot of time. But I think eventually I'll be grateful that we had these years, you know, without little ones around. <laughs> um, and it's a big change. Like I feel like a part of me too is a little bit a little bit scared. As you're watching me um, make this dress, there was a lot of times that I had to stop the camera. I had to like figure out like how to do something. I had to rethread my sewing machine. The thing came on, like there was so much stuff that was made it really frustrating and I didn't keep that all in, but I felt like I wanted to mention it because from your perspective watching me sew the dress, it looks like I had a great time. Like it looked like it was flawless. I just went from this to this to this to this and all of a sudden there's a baby dress. But that's not how life is. And when you're seeing things on social media and when you see, you know, another Facebook post of someone getting engaged, like it wasn't a seamless jump for them to get there. Know that each milestone of anyone's life comes with so many trials and struggles and hardships. So take everything with a grain of salt and that not everything is what it looks like. You know, a, a really cute baby dress comes with a lot of headaches. <laughs> All that to say, uh, thanks for watching the laundry chat where we help each other start out life's laundry. I would love if you would subscribe. I try to make videos every week and I'd just love to hear your experience of being in your 20s and what that's been like for you. Leave a comment below. It's a crazy time um, and I just love hearing about everyone's unique experiences because you just really never know what you're gonna get. I love you guys and I will see you in the next laundry chat.